with options. Your entire strategy is based on what you think. I'm going to give you the fixed protocol. Options Greeks. So what are the three shells in Unix? You have B shell, C shell, and K shell. So one of the first shells was Born Shell, and it was named after Stephen Born, not Jason Born. That's a great movie. I love Born Identity. Stephen Born, and this is coming from AT and T, and this is from about 1979. So B Shell is very fast, very efficient. A lot of administration is done in B Shell. Born Shell was actually based on a programming language called Algo. Then in the late 1970s, you had C Shell developed at the University of California at Berkeley. It was developed primarily by Bill Joy, and it was based a lot on the C programming language. So basically, C Shell has a lot of the same syntax that you're going to find in the C programming language. So if you're a C programmer, you're going to probably like C Shell, or at least you'll be comfortable and at home coding in C Shell. And C Shell basically is a shell that you use when you want to create a very slow and sloppy shell. No, I'm just kidding. It is slow compared to B Shell and K Shell because it was designed on a very big and powerful machine. So it's designed with that power in mind. So depending on how complex your C Shell is and what kind of server it's running on, you may see the sluggish performance compared to if you had written it in B Shell or K Shell. C Shell has some more advanced options compared to B Shell. For example, you have job control and history and things of that sort. Then in the late 1980s, you had a gentleman by the name of David Korn from AT&T who developed Corn Shell. David Corn developed the Corn Shell. And the reason that he created the Corn Shell was there was a whole battle going on between, you know, which is better, C Shell or B Shell. B Shell is better, it's faster, it's more efficient, but C Shell is more powerful. You know, the whole idea was kind of combining the power of C Shell with the speed and efficiency of B Shell. Bear in mind, though, that K Shell is essentially a superset of the Born Shell. You have the first shell, B shell, by Stephen Bourne. The second shell, C shell, based on the C programming language. And the third shell, K shell, created by David Korn. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.